One of the things that makes positive Christianity so unique in this world is we are attempting to encourage you to attend the church of your choice, what feeds your soul. But today I'm going to also talk about the other side of that, of feeding your church. It is an important aspect. There has to be an entire circulation that takes place. In Acts 20, verse 28, it says, Take heed, therefore, unto yourselves, and to all the flock over which the Holy Spirit hath made you overseers, to feed the church of God. The Bible teaches us that we should worship God in our hearts, but also in our churches. And we have clear instructions to feed the church of God. The church belongs to God, and it is God's just as certainly as we are God's. When we help to build God's church, not just building up the body of Christ, not just attending, but giving back, we bear witness to the changes that God has made in our lives. Are you an active member of your fellowship? Are you a builder of bridges inside the four walls of your church and outside of it? Do you contribute your time and your talent and your money? God's church is intended to be a powerful tool for spreading God's good news and uplifting God's children. What are you doing to be a part of God's church today? When the church is uplifted, it will help people beyond those that you will meet. It will leave a legacy and a purpose for your life. There are other people that are hurting that are going to be searching in the future, and they will find answers because you walked ahead of them on the way feeding God's church.